All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Compound Interesting. This is Emil, and in today's video, we're having a look at ARK Invest, which is led by Kathy Wood. And we're having a look if Kathy Wood could potentially be the next Warren Buffett and their investment fund, uh, ARK Invest, to potentially be the next Berkshire Hathaway with those ridiculous returns over the long term. So ARK Invest is quite dissimilar to Berkshire, Berkshire Hathaway in the fact that they believe in disruptive innovation rather than value stocks or great companies, great long lasting companies. Uh, ARK Invest are very much focused on disruptive in innovation. So any sort of company that is set to change the way the world works and is about to completely uproot legacy businesses. So there's five main disruptive innovators, innovation sectors that ARK Invest believe will completely change the world. And they are robotic, robotics slash automation, energy storage, genomics sequencing, AI and blockchain. ARK Invest have some crazy, crazy estimation, estimations for the future. So this is one of their estimations that those five sectors combined will result in $50 trillion of business value and wealth creation over the next 10 to 15 years. And they're currently worth 6 trillion now. So that's kind of absolutely, uh, that's a huge prediction considering that the entire stock market right now is valued about, the entire American stock market is like $72 trillion. They estimate those five sectors to make up $50 trillion in the next 10 to 15 years. Now we, remember the whole stock market will be worth a lot more than $70 trillion in the next 10 to 15 years. We all hope so anyway, but uh, still 50 trillion is a huge prediction. But this is one of the reasons that ARK Invest have such a, that they're quite popular and famous. They kind of have these enormous price predictions and some of them are already playing out. For example, they stuck on a $5,000, five to $10,000 price prediction for Tesla stock in the next five years, which I think is, seems quite unrealistic to me. But they put that price target out like a year ago, like when Tesla was still two to 300. And now Tesla's a thousand and that seems much more realistic, even though it's still quite high. So why does Cathie Wood and ARK Invest believe in disruptive innovation so much? They believe disruptive innovation causes massive price declines in whatever sector. So for example, electric cars eventually will cause massive price declines in cars and fuel. And eventually that will lead to enormous growth in that industry as well as lead to further innovation in that industry leading to more value in the future. So ARK offer five different actively managed ETFs. So they're ETFs where ARK pick and choose different stocks and are buying and selling and constantly managing the ratios on what they believe will do the best in the future. So those five ETFs are the ARK K, so A or K K, which is um, the amalgamation of all the other four. So the other four are Autonomous Tech and Robotics, that's ARC-Q, ARC-W, Next Gen Internet, ARC-G, Next Gen, or sorry, Genomics, so Genes, and then finally ARC-F, FinTech Innovation. So we're most gonna look at ARC-K, which is kind of their best picks out of the other four, all into one. So over the last 20 or so years, an enormous amount of money has moved out of hedge funds, so actively managed funds, moved out of that and into passively managed funds, as in index funds. So basically hedge funds, people who are picking and choosing stocks for their clients, historically they've actually underperformed indexes and people are finally starting to wake up to this and moving over to just investing in the entire market, e.g. the S&P 500. However, now Cathy thinks that there is a shortage in hedge funds, actually managed funds. And because everyone is passive investing, there is an opportunity for massive growth and for picking and choosing the right investments. Because she's investing in disruptive innovation, she believes she can avoid the com companies that are going to be completely disrupted and displaced by the innovation, such as Ford or Chevron or any of those oil or uh, ice vehicle car companies that are gonna go under. Potentially. Cathy and everyone at ARK Invest think disruption is really underpriced at the moment and they believe that the coming revolutions in all these different sectors is going to be bigger than the impact of the internet of electricity in the past. That the next 
these five different industries are going to completely transform the way the world works and have an enormous effect and in turn create an enormous value for shareholders in these companies. ARC believe that they're investing in the companies with the highest risk to reward potentials in the entire stock market. So they believe the potential reward is high and potentially the risk could be high as well. However, because you're spreading your bets across a large array of different assets or securities, the risk is therefore reduced because it's diversified across a lot of companies. So if one company goes out, you're not completely screwed. So it kind of takes the the fear out of a lot of investors when investing in these types of companies that have huge reward potentials, but maybe don't have the current revenue to be backing up such high price multiples. All right, I'll go through some more reasons you might consider investing in ARK's ETF, and then we'll look at its previous performance, and then finally I'll give you my opinion on whether I would invest or I am invested or going to invest in ARK. So one of the reasons you might want to invest in ARK is if you are mainly a value investor and you have a lot of exposure to legacy companies that are mega, high mega cap companies, well over a hundred billion dollars, because that only makes up zero, mega cap companies over a hundred billion dollars only make up less than 1% of ARK's ETF. So the majority of them are sub 100 billion or sub 10 billion dollars. Because ARK is actively managed, they can continually rotate sectors or stocks that they believe is going to perform better over the time and sell stocks that they believe have run up too much and are now overpriced. So whenever you're looking at ARK Invest, the sector weighting will always change as to whichever whichever sector they think is going to perform the best. So at the moment, 30% of ARK Invest, the main ARK K in innovation, the main ARK K innovation fund is made up of healthcare stocks. So all about like genomic sequencing and the likes of Illumina, CRISPR, uh, what was the other one? Invitae. They're, they're making up the, the largest proportion of the stock portfolio at the moment because they believe the genomic revelation revolution is coming very, very soon. And these stocks are very underpriced. So they've bought more and more and more of those stocks and let the other ones that have kind of inflated a bit, let, let let the buying on them cool down a bit. When you're investing in ARK as well, you need to be aware that ARK is going to be more volatile, but hope more volatile than an index fund like the S&P 500 because of the types of stocks that they invest in. However, at the same time, we would hope that over the long term, ARK Invest will outperform the S&P 500, just like Berkshire Hathaway did over a very long time period. Whereas Berkshire Hathaway got a 20% return uh, averaged over 40 or so years. Kathy Wood has managed since inception in five years ago. They got 25% each year over the last five years, 32% over the last, last three years, and 55% over the last year. So their funds performance has done really, really well since last year, and it wasn't really doing that amazing up until then. Up until then, it was only like 17% per year. But just because of this year's performance, because it's such a volatile index fund in comparison to other funds, it's done very, very well this year and has beaten the S&P 500 quite easily. So Berkshire Hathaway actually is quite a, is a medium to large position in my portfolio. And I hold Berkshire Hathaway to act as diversification because all my stocks are kind of tech, high growth stocks, kind of like the stocks that are in this fund quite similar so that's why I'm interested in this fund however I hold a lot of Berkshire as a hedge to all my investments however if you're kind of the kind of person who has a lot of Berkshire Hathaway style stocks that are kind of you know value long established companies that are not crazy high price multiples and that are safe aren't going to go out of business anytime soon you might look at ARK Invest as a good hedge to your investments but now let's have a look at ARK Invest top 10 holdings. So as you can see, Tesla is the number one position in ARK Invest's portfolio and in three of their index funds, it's also the biggest position as it also counts as autonomous and also counts in the robotics space. At the same time, Tesla is also my biggest position. However, it makes up more than 10% of my portfolio. It's like 30 to 40%. And on top of that, I also hold quite, Square is also one of my biggest positions. I think it's about number four. It's like my fourth biggest position. 
So for, the, for those reasons, I'm not so interested in ARK-K personally, because two of those, what I've been investing in is Tesla and Square, like quite a lot of it would be just investing in them, except I'm paying 0.75% management fee to ARK to invest money that I would have invested anyway just to be invested in the other stocks apart from Tesla and Square. So the expense ratio for ARK is 0.75%. However, for me personally, I'd be interested in investing in one of the other ETFs like the genomic ones where I'm not so confident in the individual companies. I don't really know them well enough. However, that I'm interested in the industry and think it's going to do really well. And I'll just allow ARK to pick the best companies for me because they're all geniuses who work there and much smarter than me in that area. So I'll trust them to make the better investments than I could in that particular area. However, if you're the type of person who doesn't love researching companies every single day and would prefer someone to just do it for you, this could be a very good option that has a good potential to beat the S&P 500, in my opinion. So ARK Invest have a price to sales ratio, their net asset value, so the price to sales ratio of all their weighted holdings combined is 5.27. So that's pretty high price to sales ratio for a normal company and quite a lot for an index fund. So kind of a fair value and a price to sales multiple usually is under five for a growth company and one or two for a normal company. So 5.27, quite a high price to sales ratio and their price to cash flow ratio is 30. So also quite high. But obviously with the kind of companies they're investing in, some of them don't even have very much revenue or earnings whatsoever, but they're future enormous growth industries. So for those reasons, maybe it's not so richly priced. Do I think it's a good investment right at this very, very minute? Now it's currently at an all time high, thanks to the likes of Tesla, which has just done extremely, extremely well. That was their big bullish thesis playing out over the last number of years. That was their big bet and it's paid off and also because of their healthcare stocks that they have, like the genomic sequencing. Everyone kind of looks at COVID and then sees, oh, there's massive potential growth here in the healthcare industry. The healthcare industry did quite well after COVID-19. So that's why it's at an all-time high, much bigger than it was before COVID-19. Do I think ARK Invest would be a good investment? Yes. From the companies that I know that they've invested in, I absolutely love the ones that they have there. And also, when you're going onto their website, looking into their investment research, there's so much free material that you can consume and get stock ideas for yourself. So I'm seeing CRISPR in there, in their fund, and that's making me very interested. And that's going to be the next stock I research. And I'm going to use their research material. So that's a perfect place to find potential enormous growth stocks for yourself. If you're more of an active investor like myself, if you're not so interested in letting someone else manage your money. So I think ARK would be a very good investment for someone investing for the very long term. However, it's gonna be a bit of a, it's gonna be a very, very volatile stock and will, they believe will underperform in times of uh, uncertainty. So for example, when people want to get into more safer stocks, they sell their more risky stocks, which is what ARK Invest are made up of. So they'll sell all the stocks in an, in an ARK Invest fund and flock to safety. So it might not perform in kind of riskier times, but over the long term, I think there's a good chance it could well outperform the S&P 500. So as I mentioned, CRISPR is now going to be the next stock that I'm researching. And that's essentially editing someone's genes, a baby's genes, so they won't have certain diseases. And in the far, far future, editing someone's genes so that they'll be, they'll be tall, or that they'll have blue eyes which obviously could generate trillions of dollars, if not hundreds of billions. But yeah, that's only a less than $10 billion company. So it looks really, really enticing to me, even though they don't have very, very much revenue at all. So that's the company I'm gonna be researching next. So there'll be a video on that in the coming days. So if you're not subscribed, click subscribe so you catch that video. I'm gonna get go really, really deep on that one because that kind of fascinates me. If you like the video, please drop a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. I really, really hope you enjoyed something. I hope I opened your mind up to ARK Invest as a potential investment, not financial advice or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, I think it's a really good investment potentially for value investors or people who want exposure to this industry but don't really understand it. And the different segments that they have provides a lot of 
potential diversification for a more seasoned investor. And there's also those, there's another couple of index funds in there that I didn't get to mention. But absolutely have a look at their website because there's some fascinating research on there, some really, really cool, interesting stuff if you're at all interested in tech or anything about the future. Uh, loads of research there and loads of stock ideas. So basically just steal all their information, steal their investment ideas and invest for yourself. Invest in the companies that they're investing in. Pick the best ones that you think will do the best. Or if you're not do bothered doing that, go in and buy one of the ARK Invest ETFs or indexes. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Cheers.